Hey guys, it's Veron from Secret of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a digital piece and it's a piece that I have been working on for almost a year. Though, disclaimer, it wasn't continuous and I'll get into that in the video. So yes, it's a long piece and this is actually gonna be cut up into two parts. So the first part that you're watching right now includes the sketching which you see right now on the screen. It will have the base color blocking, the base colors, and then maybe some highlights and shadows and quote-unquote rendering. Part 2 will also have more of that, but also some corrections and then um, overlays, embellishments, highlights, backgrounds, all of that. So I'll be releasing part 2 next Sunday, so stay tuned for that! Well, let's get into the video. So. Here we are sketching. What I don't show in this video actually is that I did like three sketches for this particular piece before I landed on this pose and this angle and this camera zoom. And I will say that it did take me a year to finish this piece. So I first started this in July 2019, 2018, and it ended on August 15, 2019. Granted, I didn't work on it continuously. So, let's talk about the concept first and then maybe why it took me a year to finish. So yeah, so the, the concept for this piece was that I wanted to draw someone with a compass or something that somewhat resembles my logo for my signature or my icon or whatever you call that thing. Because I wanted it to be my new profile picture slash display picture. And I'd use it on my new, for a while at least, I'd put it on my Facebook, my socials, and then my new profile picture for YouTube maybe. Um, so that was the goal for this piece. I just wanted to have um, a drawing that somewhat is references my logo and my branding and stuff like that. And it took me a year because... Um, when I started this piece, I wasn't as fast and as proficient with my digital works anymore. I had switched over to traditional and watercolors at this point. So I wasn't doing as much digital pieces. So drawing with digital made, was slow. I wasn't as coordinated anymore. And it took me quite some time to get back to the group of things. So given that, in the past, when I was in college and I first got my tablet, maybe I'd be able to pump out a digital work in three to five hours. So that's like one live stream session or maybe two. But nowadays, it would take me maybe <laughs> several days, actually four, five days to finish something. And it's just like three, ses three live stream sessions per day. And the thing with this piece is that I didn't do it every day. It was like in chunks because I get distracted by other things like games, mostly games. <laughs> I maybe get distracted by Sims or Fate and Order or God Eater 3 or Monster Hunter. So I never really spent continuous time working on this. But since that happens, um, when I come back to the piece, I see a lot of issues and mistakes that I want to fix. And that extends the time that I'm working on the piece, and then I'm discontent with it. And that's actually side, side digress for really quick. So if you've been watching art channels or art tips or art advice on YouTube, you would know that people often encourage you to take a step back and not work on your pieces continuously. So if you're working on the sketching phase, you want to take a break after the sketch, after the line art, and then maybe end it with your coloring. That's so that you can make adjustments early on. So if you want to make an adjustment or an addition in the sketching phase, it's easy. Especially if you're working with watercolor, that it's not super easy to keep on adding stuff. It's a good idea. Um, same with the line art, same with... And then you go to the coloring. It's so that you have fresh eyes every time you go back to your piece. With me, the issue became that, and I think for a lot of artists, when you come back, you see so many mistakes, and then you get frustrated that there's so many mistakes, you try to fix it, it gets messed up even more, etc. etc. One technique that I 
kind of had to set at the start of this piece in 2019 was that I corrected the mistakes and then I decided which mistakes I'll actually work on. So you'll see that in part 2 and I'll mention it again there when I start doing it. But essentially what I did is what I saw, okay this arm is wonky, I don't like the neck, I don't like the face, but if I fix the arm, it would be better off for me to just completely redo the entire piece, just start from scratch. Especially since my layering system isn't super sophisticated, <laughs> or I actually don't know how other artists do it, where they like edit this part of the arm only, that's the only thing that's getting moved and I guess it's something with how I do layers or something. But for me, if I fix the arm, it would just completely, you know, it's better to scrap it. So what I decided to do was to decide what mistake I can live with and what I can edit realistically without driving myself insane. So that's how I managed to finish this piece. But right now what you can see on the screen was me in 2018 still constantly trying to do edits and trying to fix it every time I come back. So what happened was that I got tired of the piece, I didn't work on it for a year, and because I had this piece in the back burner, I felt kinda guilty starting any other piece that wasn't this one or without finishing this one. Especially since I really like the idea and the, and the concept for this. And that's how I ended up not doing any digital works for almost a year. The thing that broke this was me working on Arthur Pentagon Summoning Catalyst. So back in March-ish, March-April-ish, I posted a video with me drawing a summoning catalyst for Arthur Pentagon and Fate Grand Order. I got them, which is great. But because I remembered, because I, I had some confidence now because I worked on that piece, I decided to come back to this one like a month after and try to finish it up. And that's how I ended up with the 2019 footage. But really, it for several months, I really didn't even look at my dig digital whips folder or anything like that because I knew if I tried to restart this piece, I just get frustrated. So, yeah, I ignored it essentially. <laughs> So I'm not sure if I already mentioned it, but I think I did. Um, the goal that I had was to do a more painterly style. So you saw the line art earlier, and that's because I just had it there already, and I used it as the guidelines for the more deep, like refined details on the face. But I decided not to include the footage because it would be A, kind of useless, and B, it would make the video way, way longer. So what I'm trying to do now is just building the shapes of the face, just using paint and shadows and doing my best. I actually do like how this turned out though. I mean, I like how I can kind of see the strokes of the brush. I guess you can comment down below, um, what do you do usually when you have pieces that have been kind of just sitting in your folders for a long time and you haven't gotten back to it? Because me, when I was younger, I usually would just scrap it and then try to redraw it. So this is one of the few pieces that I've actually just gone in to try and finish it even though it's been in my folder for so long. Is that something that you do? Do you still try to attempt to finish it, or do you just completely delete it? Um, have you also felt those feelings of guilt that you have a lot of unfinished pieces, or is that nothing to you? Usually for me, I don't let it bother me, but for this particular piece in gen- like this particular one, because I knew what I wanted it for, and I knew why I wanted that concept, I really felt guilty not doing it. So yeah, this- Tell me your experiences, I guess, and we can have a chat in the comments.
what I'm trying here is I wanted to do like a gradient on her jacket coat thing. I wanted to have like maybe like a sky night galaxy look gradient thing. Except I forgot that Clip Studio Paint actually has a gradient tool. So I was trying to blend it with just my brush. That was kind of funny. I remembered eventually though, and I started abusing it. So now what I want to work on is actually maybe learning how to make my shadows a lot darker or a bit more deeper because I thought it's all very mid-tone-ish and I kind of need to be, be a bit braver and try to do more deeper shadows, create more contrast in between the darkness and the lights and maybe that's something I can try in my next piece. No guarantees though that I'll be able to pull it off but it's worth a shot. But for now, we'll stick to this 2018 coloring style. It'll actually change a bit in the next video. Um, I do learn a little bit in between the couple of months I didn't touch this piece. See, it's even new highlight. I'm so prepared to finish this video. <laughs> but I realized that it was not done eventually. the video i hope you'll stick around for part two subscribe if you want to see that if you enjoyed this video please consider dropping a like and i'll see you around for next week that's what i'm supposed to say <laughs>